What's going on? This is Cheeseboy628 here today giving you our little team building session of Season 5, Week 7 of the NPL series. So, uh, today is Sunday actually, it's the day before I actually upload my Week 6 results, but because I got a Skype message from my new opponent for Week 7, being Cloud, Cloud Envy if you will, uh, coach of the Jersey Dwebbles. I was inspired to look at his team a little bit because he wanted to schedule our battle, which will be in a couple days. So uh, either Monday or Tuesday we'll work that out. Uh, but that inspired me to just get this team building session out of the way. Why not, you know? So let's just do a little recap of what happened last week. So standings wise, because of an incredible battle. I mean, I mean incredible. We're still working on results for game of the week. I'm just saying, but like like that was insane uh so many reasons like the stakes the results the battle oh gosh it was it was insane anyway so because of that very crucial win for us we are not i don't want to say clearly because i don't want to say two wins puts me in this dramatically better position than anyone else except for never mind uh but anyway because because of this, it does put us in a really good position to not only be top in our division currently, but it also puts us in competition in the case that we somehow drop a position, maybe two positions if we're feeling real edgy. Uh, we're still in competition against uh, the people in the dark, Dusk division because now we're ahead of the Bidoofs. And we're also in competition with the Braviary. So really, of our conference, we're kind of third place right now, which is a good position to be in because that, that just puts you in a nice guaranteed spot for the playoffs, at least. Obviously, you want to keep doing better so that way you have a more favorable position in the playoffs when it comes. But uh, the point is getting there first. So with that said, uh, we are facing the Jersey Dwebbles. Uh, they're unfortunately not doing as well as I imagine they desire to, but uh, they definitely have a chance to come back. But I, I don't mean to be... <clears throat> Jeez, that was a weird thing with my throat. Anyway, um, I, I don't mean to uh, end this man's career because there's only one career I want to end in this league. But uh, we got to keep on winning. We got to keep trying to win at the very least. So... I can't let up on this man. I can't let up even though I want him to make bracket as well. So let's just get into it. We're already three minutes in chatting about nonsense. So yep, like I said, versus Cloud. And we're going to start building some stuff. So I looked at his team a little bit before this. Looked at it a little bit before. And let's go right over to it. Here's me. Here's him. And so... I was thinking a couple of things. I was thinking Titar, I was thinking Kieran Black, I was thinking Talonflame, I was thinking Klefki, um, Sableye, and probably Mega Blastoise. You know, I think I just put the team together right now. Whoops. <laughs> so, so I'll explain what I was thinking. I, I was just, those last couple of months I was looking at, I was just kind of piecing them together randomly, but it seems to fit the more I think about it. So, Talon... Um, Clef, Sableye, Blastoise, with Blastoise and Knight, and uh, what's the last mod we wanted? Uh, Curum. So we got a, we got some options here. Um, so the reason I was thinking Titar is number one, if he has a Weather War of any sort, I want to be able to counter that as much as I can. Uh, so, because he does have Ninetales plus Venusaur. That's two Mons right there, that if he's going to want to bring that, like, that could be especially important. And if he brings those, and brings Sand Slash, like, like, that could be, that could be some trouble for me. Um, I need to think a little bit about, because if he does bring Sand Slash, not to mention offensive Sand Slash, predicting my T-Tar, I'm going to have to make sure that my Sableye is able to take hits. So let's bring in Scene Slash here. Um, NU Offensive versus Sableye. Sableye. 
Um, so 252. Earthquake is 46 to 55. And that's if it is adamant lum. So that's not even life orb for crying out loud. And if he does bring life orb, we're in trouble. Um, because that does 60 to 71. However, that's not like the worst in the world. I could stall him out a little bit. Perhaps even burn him if need be. But I guess we'll cross that road when we get there. Um, plus foul play does a lot of bit of damage, which is nice. Also, is careful the same as bold? Hold on, 55 versus 60. Okay, no. So bold is also what we want. Um, so yeah, let's just put that in right away. We're not doing anything too crazy here. Um, it's actually going to be a pretty similar set to last week. Only difference being I probably want to run foul play. Um, as much as I would like to knock off everything, I... I... <laughs> um... I don't know. It's definitely a thought. It's definitely a good thought, though. Like... I mean, what does he have that could, like, sub up on me and I'd feel scared? Not that much. So, yeah. Um, the thing is, his switch-ins to this are usually going to be Nine Tails or Gardevoir, and therefore, that kind of sucks, but, you know. <laughs> um, I don't know. I can't, I can't go as far as predicting exactly what item I'm going to trick onto something else. Because if I was to do that, then that would give me a completely different T-Tar set. But if that doesn't work out ideally, then I'm in trouble. So, I like all of this except for the foul play thing. I just don't know if I really want to run that versus, like, Nightshade. Actually, why wouldn't I run Nightshade? Nightshade is solid damage no matter what. Like, Also, we're doing level 50. I forgot to mention that. Um, so Nightshade won't do as ideally of damage as possible, but let's take Nine Tails for example. It has decent HP, I think. Um, Nine Tails at level 50 has 148. So that's like a that's a three at KO. Um, put it at 180. I mean, nothing's gonna be able to sub up on me, right? Because that thing has base 73 HP. What mons have high base HP? Like, not many. Maybe Dragology and kind of Venusaur. But nothing much. Yeah, nothing that, like, Nightshade would be bad against. So, I think it's worth doing that. Also, just wondering, does it get Seismic Toss? Just because I'm curious. It does, but obviously Nightshade is actually going to be good. Because he doesn't have a normal type, right? He ain't got no type. Sorry. Anyway, so that's finally going to be my move choice. I'm going to switch everything to 50 now because I was thinking about doing that after the battle, but like I want to have everything ready now. That way my EVs are also not messy. So boom, here we go. Go back to this. I kind of want to learn a little bit more to see like... What? What? Um, I was like trying to adjust the IVs just cause and finally it worked. I was a little confused. Okay, it looks like still with being level 50 that... Uh, that uh, each EV still raises it by one point. In general, I just want to see if I could save a couple here and there, you know, little cups and strats. Um, so going to Blastoisenator here. I mean, we got our standard Scald, and we got Rapid Spin. I'm thinking we're probably gonna run Dark Pulse because his one spinner, spin blocker, is his uh, Cofagrigus. And we don't we don't want to deal with that too much. Look at all these colors going on here and then there's me just thought I'd mention that um yeah we ain't using fan P today boys my apologies but look at this I forget about Latias again uh, <laughs> oh it could actually do really good against his team 
Um, the only stuff I'd be worried about is like Caesar against Latias. But that's it. Like everything else, you press life or boom and it dies. Only thing that's a little annoying is like scarf Mian Xiao being able to U-turn on things. Yeah, so here's the thing though, because I was thinking of running Scarf Titar, but I don't... The reason I was thinking of running Scarf is because of Caesar being a potential problem. Um, give me some data on Caesar right here, right now. It gets base 65 speed. So... Obviously, I'm going to have to put some speed investment in Titar if I'm going to want it to compete against Caesar. I was thinking Scarf with like Fire Blast, Crunch, stuff like that. But is that going to be good? Probably not. Probably not. I could run just enough speed to try handling his Caesar. Oy. Oy. I mean, it's not mega, and that's beautiful. I'm just saying. A lot of things hurt Titar, though, mind you. A lot of things. But if I'm going to set up hazards, I'm going to set up hazards, you know? At the same time, spikes are good, but like... Rocks are really good. <laughs> Heck, I could run s Sash for the YOLOs. But, like, I don't. I hate running Sash on something like Titar because it's naturally bulky. It's not actually going to go down to its Sash, and then that's a waste of a move. That's a waste of an item. So, that's my, that's my thoughts on that. Ugh. I could run Lum. Because, like, uh, uh, this is so strenuous. Because just like if Ninetales wants to willow me, if Cofagrigus wants to willow me, I mean, man. Then he brings in Scene Slash, and then I bring in Sabbly. We have a good time. I could bring Rotom. That's not going to hurt me that much, which is why I could get off that nice and juicy willow. Rocks are good for Kyurem, too. Does Kyurem get Focus Blast? I don't know. I guess we'll figure that out, huh? Um, Kyurem. Focus. It does get that juicy Focus Blast. I just want to get rid of that thing ASAP. Mm. I mean, it'd be really nice to pursue things with T-Tar. Really would. Really would. Why can't I have seven Pokemon? That's the real question. Um, gosh, I don't like this situation because I want to run Talon. But, but, <laughs> what does that mean? I don't get to use Latias. I want to run all. I want to run seven things. Give me seven. Let me run seven. Oh no, man, this is unfortunate. <sighs> Lumberry, Stealth, Pursuit, but then what? Do we run Crunch and Stone Edge? But we want Fire Blast. <laughs> but if I run Fire Blast, there's no, I can't run Fire Blast. Because then that would make me have to choose minus speed or minus defense and either way 
That doesn't put me in a good situation against Caesar. I'm really debating just not going rocks this game. In exchange for just full offense on the monstrosities. You know? You know? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. So, I don't know, then it brings up the situation, what item am I going to run on Latias? Probably just freaking Life Orb. I'm really thinking it's doing standard dot Life Orb against him. Yeah, I can't take you, Tyranitar. I can't do it. It's just not worth it. Alright, we got that Life Orb. Gonna run that Psy Shock. Gonna run that Draco. Plus, it's gonna boost my HP fire. It's gonna boost it. That's what matters. Empower fire, and then we get one more move. We could healing wish. We could freaking healing wish. That's what we're gonna do. We already have rapid spin. Boom. Oh my gosh, life is easy. Good. So we're minus speed and minus attack in exchange for that. But we just need enough EVs that we can outspeed Mian Shao. So, give me that man and shout. Base 105, max speed jolly, 339. Hits 339, we need 340. And, wow, what a trolley. What? How does this, how does it make sense? You go up two EVs? Whatever. What do I want to outspeed? I want to outspeed Rotom. I want to outspeed Rotom for sure. Hmm. Hmm. Because if I do that, then I outspeed Sea and Slash. If I outspeed Rotom, I should outspeed Venusaur too, right? What's faster? Popola. Rotom Wash is base. 86 pretty sure Venusaur is 80 so let's make sure though not Venipede not today Venusaur is 80 good anyway let's make this guy 50 want to outspeed timid just cuz I mean does it really matter does it really matter I want to take that willow I don't want to take that pain split either mm mm so max speed timid. I mean, naive, same thing. I need that 152. And then the rest goes in that bulk. Bulk. 152. 152. Wait, what? What? It's an outrage. Are you kidding me? Ha pun. 151. Need 152 if I want to add speed. Then again, if he has pain split, he won't be that speed. Like, if he's offensive, do I really care? He's not going to have pain split then. Yeah, I don't care about that. I just want to outspeed. I want to outspeed Venusaur. That's what I want to outspeed. I want to outspeed modest Venusaur. Because if he's running offensive Venusaur... That thing coming in with modest, I'm just saying. So at level 50, he is going to be 132. So I want that 133. That's better. No, what? What is this? What? Is, stop. I don't want that. Um, 132. Nice. Nice and clean. I want all the EVs in the world right here, right now. So, nice HP. Wait, like if I put more, if I put four more here, that don't change anything? Let me, let me do it. Just give me the chance, whatever, it doesn't want me to. Not today. Okay, my speech has been a meme today. Um, this is looking like the team got a lot of power. Not gonna lie, nothing comes in for free. Nothing. 
So for Gardevoir, we got that Clef Key. For Kyurem, we've got that hope that he makes the wrong move between Blastoise and Clef Key. That's a wise decision on my part, I must say. But yeah, we got that Clef. The Earth Power could hurt Clef a lot a bit. But I mean, we're going to live. And we get T-Wave. Or we get to Spike. And at the end of the day, hazards are going to be very important because we want Talonflame to clean up by the end. That's basically the goal. And we got that Latias with that Healing Wish, too. So this is going to be real artsy. I'm, I'm digging this. I'm stoked for this match, not going to lie. So we're going to see how that goes. I'll let you know if I make any edits, but the battle will be coming in a couple days. So see you guys then. All right, y'all. Here we are with the battle. Well, not yet, but... Uh, he challenged me. I didn't make any edits since then. Um, I tested a couple times. It went pretty well, except for the times where I forgot that since it was set at level 50, it battled as level 50 versus level 100s, and those ones didn't work out as well. But uh, no, when, when they were 100, when I had another team with actual level 100s, it actually worked out. So, um, yeah, he requested it, so I was like, why not? So, um... Yeah, let's try it. Here we go, baby. I'm gonna link this in the chat first. Alright, cool. So actually, just a quick anecdote that uh, when I was testing this out um, and I did have the level 50s and didn't realize, uh, like I saw a uh, Politoed do decent damage to my Blastoise and then he, first off he went first and then I did 9% with the Dark Pulse and I'm like uh is that thing like Assault Vest Max Spadef and then I'm like wait I'm level 50 <laughs> the fact that he still did damage was nice though um besides the point um this is this is really interesting because as much as I just want to bring in Kyurem and start killing things um I'm a little bit worried because he has Aerodactyl, he has Mien Xiao, and he has the uh, Gardevoir. So, yeah, I'm a, I'm a little scared in general for, for him. <laughs> Not for him as in, like, I'm worried about him doing well. I'm scared for against his team is what I mean to say. Um, but he does have that Rodan that's annoying in regards to trying to get on T-Waves. He did not bring either Sand Slash nor, uh, what was that other Mon that I was thinking he could potentially bring? Um, he could have, no, I mean, let's see, Sand Slash and Mega Arrow were the ones I was thinking that he could have brought with rocks, but he did not bring Sand Slash. So if he does have rocks, it's on Arrow, but I feel like that'd be a waste of a move slot, but, um, I guess we'll see, huh? Um, but yeah, he's, he's got that nine tails. Interesting. He did not bring sun. He didn't bring Venusaur. So, um, that's worth mentioning. Uh, but yeah, everything's level 50. So that's good. Um, yeah, just a lot to think about here, to be honest. My apologies that I'm taking a bit of time here. Um, I just want to make sure that my first move goes well. Um, I'm timid, Latios, right? Yeah. So I just want to see how well um, Latios offensive max with hidden power fire would do against standard dot Caesar. Um, bulky swords dance. It would do 84 to 100. So. I'm a little bit worried about that, to be honest. Um, yeah, I just don't know what he's going to lead with. Like, if he leads Mian Chao, I'm in trouble if I don't pick the right Mon. However, I don't want him to lead Rotom and then me be in a bad position. So, I think at the end of the day, I may just want to use... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, to be honest. Um, that Ninetales is scary, though. Let's start with Latios, I guess. Um, so we do it. He starts with Mian Xiao. He doesn't know whether I'm Scarf or not yet. Um, 
but uh, he might just U-turn right off the bat. If so, he can, if he's Scarf, of course. I don't know what his set is yet, though. Um, obviously, an interesting lead. Um, he can't kill me, though, no matter what. Um, and if he goes to Caesar, you know, sucks, but it's not the worst thing in the world, especially if he's defensive, which I think there's a decent chance he could be. Um, but we'll see what he decides to do here. If he does risk just going for U-turn immediately, if that is his set being Scarf, I feel that's a little risky on his end, but again, I don't think the repercussions are going to be too much for me. But I guess we'll figure it out. Um, I have a decent amount of fire coverage on my team, just a mixture of willows and HP fires, so... I might have went a little overkill with that, but hopefully we'll be fine. You know, it's not the most crucial battle for me, but obviously I want to do well. Because it still could put me in a bad position if I don't do well enough. Um, this is week 7. This is getting into the second half of the season. A little, little nerve-wracking. If he has fake out, um, means he's not Scarf. Probably. <laughs> And that means Latias automatically outspeeds because they put enough EVs on to speed creep. Um, but I guess we'll find out. I guess we'll find out if he's Scarf. If he is Scarf, okay. He is indeed Scarf. Um, I don't like that. <laughs> don't like that at all. I feel that was a really risky plan, his part too, to just let that happen. But... Beggars can't be choosers, I suppose. Um, yeah, he don't know what coming. He don't know what coming. Um, I knew he could have led Mianxiao or Rotom, and so with that in mind, it was just interesting to consider. But he brings in the Gardevoir, um, does a decent bit of damage. Is that defensive? Doesn't look like it. Um... And I can freely bring in the thing that is meant to handle Gardevoir, being my Klefki. I imagine this thing isn't Scarf as well, uh, but I guess I can't say for sure. Um, it is good to keep this thing around for that nice healing wish that could be very important later. Uh, yeah. So we could go Klefki, we could go Talon. Those are really the two options that I'm primarily considering right now. Um, obviously either take a moon blast. Klefki's the one that actually takes a Psy Shock though. Um, Klefki may be better overall. So let's do that. Don't know what his set is yet. All we know is Mian Xiao is Scarf, which is important though. It goes for moon blast straight off the bat. Um, Spitak drops, sucks, but not the worst in the world. Here's the thing, as much as I want a T-Wave, if he brings in Rotom, I don't want that to be a wasted move, and I might as well get a spike off, because that's going to hurt his whole team. Exactly. Exactly my thoughts. Um, I don't know what he's going to do here. My main goal with Klefki is just to handle his, uh... Gardevoir, really. So if I just keep getting hazards to wither him away, then that's kind of a success right there, no? So let's get another spike off. I'm specially defensive. Um, so I'm going to be able to take hits. Uh, he's probably going to Volt, as he does. I don't know if that damage really tells me anything special. Um, I guess we'll figure out what's going on. He brings in the Ninetales. Um, only does 16 kind of forgot it goes like 12 16 25 apparently what i thought it was like 12 18 huh i am a little perplexed but um here's an interesting situation we don't know what his item is yet i don't think it's gonna be heat rock to be honest um i just can't see that really being his best choice um Klefki could certainly be nice. I don't want to sack Sableye so soon. 
Holy cow, that was so many S's and I did not mean to do that. Um, he could have HP Rock on his Ninetales if he was feeling real edgy. I just don't know how edgy he feeling. <laughs> um, we could go to Blastoise and double into Talonflame, but um, yeah, a little scary. A little scary indeed. And we got a bulky Blastoise, and I don't think Blastoise has much use after handling Ninetales. I mean, it does for like Aerodactyl actually in handling Mianchou and things in general the more I think about it. But I mean, if we don't start using it now, what are we going to do? And a Specs Fire Blast is going to hurt anything. Um, let's just check here. Ninetales versus Talonflame. Um, sure, why not? And you nasty plot. If it's offensive, Talonflame. Oh, you offensive with, let's say, no item. Um, Brave Bird does 6981 if he's fully offensive. But if it's Fire Blast in the sun, that's doing a lot to me. Even though I have, let's say, 40 EVs, it's still a solid 2 KO by all means. Um, plus, Blastoise isn't Mega Evolved yet. Um, UU defensive. Let's say, like, 100. Fire Blast doesn't do that much, to be fair. That's Timid Life Orb, too. Timid Life Orb, too. Um, hmm. Hmm. So I should be... Timid Life Orb, Fire Blast, in the sun, does that much damage. Like, that's not a lot of damage. Let's bring in the Stoicinator. See what happens. He goes for a foul play. Huh. Did not expect that. No, sir. Um, so here's the thing. I could go to Latias. Latias wouldn't be a bad play, I think, because I should be able to live anything, get off a nice, meaty Psy Shock, and have a good time. Um, yeah. And, like, that's not going to be a worry. I'm a little bit worried about that Caesar. Like, if it's defensive, it's going to be able to get off. It's going to be able to get rid of my hazards, and I don't want that. But, um, that's to be... I mean, he doesn't know my talent flame set yet, either, though. So, that's worth factoring in. So, I think at the end of the day, Latios may be best just to come in, do a Psy Shock, and have a good time. Um, yeah, let's do that because, I mean, if he has energy ball or solar beam, boom, that's going to be a thing. But, uh, he decides to bring in this monster known as Rotom Wash. Um, I don't know if he's going to want to bring in Gardevoir after this. I really doubt he is because that's a lot of damage to his Gardevoir for no reason. So I'm just going to press Draco. I'm going to press Draco because that's free damage on something barring his Gardevoir, but the chance of him bringing that in is unlikely to me. He might have Trick on his Gardevoir, that's something to think about too, but I'm not too worried about that at this point actually. Um, Frickin' the guy I am facing right now is talking in the Skype chat. Is that is that why he is taking a little while to choose his moves? Like, we have our NPL Skype chat, we're talking about the new findings for Alola for uh, all the new Pokemons going on and that and then he, he responds you can't just do that we are in the midst of a battle this is an important battle for you too pop cloud let me tell you that right now also before I forget make sure to uh, check this guy out um, put oh my god oh oh It just, it just disappeared. <laughs> it just disappeared. Gone with the wind. Holy, it just disappeared. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, 
chances are that mattered. <laughs> Gosh, I cringed at that one. Oh, wow. Where's Rotom Wash in this? Um, let's say it's physically defensive. And Latias has OU offensive and goes for Draco. Yeah, there's there's like no chance that would kill unless he was offensive. Um, yeah, so. Uh, again, I don't want to sack Latias. It still outspeeds his Ninetales and it could outspeed Gardevoir or at least test outspeed outspeeding Gardevoir. So I don't necessarily want to get rid of that yet. However, I should be very free to go into Sableye and just go for a Willow from here. Um, he has Drought, so I don't even know if Ninetales can use Flash Fire or not, but um, I should be fine. I mean, I'm also pretty free to go into Blastoise here, and that would be good. Actually, it would be really good because that would test whether he has Heat Rock or not, and um, Blastoise can take a hit and we could go from there because I don't want rocks up. I don't want rocks up by any means. Oh, he has pursuit. Nice. That's cool. I mean, I had no choice there. So I'm I'm very fine with that play actually because um yeah, that means I, I had no choice there. Gladios dies the end. Um but I have a free switch in to blast toys. Um which is really cool because Ninetales automatically has to take a ton of damage and um, if he decides to bring it in of course and then uh, Talon can come in after that and we should be fine barring he has HP rock he has foul play and that's all I know from it so um, yeah by, by far I mean it's between Blastoise and Sableye and Blastoise is just better all around because Sable, I can't really do anything to Nine Tails while Blastoise at least has a chance. So yeah, we are free to press Scald here. Nothing, nothing comes in very well against it. Uh, we still very much have that Sable Eye, so Mian Chao cannot spam High Jump Kick um, for any reason. So yeah, um, from here it's just the principle of withering away his Mons a lot, primarily his Aerodactyl actually at this point for. Uh, Talonflame to come in and win. That's um, definitely one of the bigger threats right now because as bulky as Kyurem is, it can't do that much to his team in general right now. Gonna have to work around it a little bit. We'll see what his choice of move here is though. He's gonna have to make a decision about um, sacking his Ninetales in exchange for maybe a little damage on Blastoise versus just sacking something else in its entirety, I imagine. I mean, this is a fully defensive blast toys, so nothing's going to get absolutely decimated, but I meant it's going to come close to a 2 a KO on anything, if not a 2 a KO. So, yeah, it's still 5 to 5. Um, score wise, it's definitely anyone's game. Um, but when you're looking at hazards, for example, and damage, it's in my favor right now, I'd say. Um, did Talonflame come in at all? I think it came in once, right? Maybe? I don't know, man. I'm delusional, probably. Um, no, because I think we brought Latios in instead and just took Rotom's life <laughs> before it had a chance to do anything. I mean, it Volt Switched once. Um, Willow doesn't even matter to Kirim, though, because it's Specs. But uh, yeah, he's he's making he's taking some time to choose his move here. I wonder why. I do have a message in my Skype chat, but chances of it being him? Eh, I doubt it, cause we're trying to battle right now. Wait, no, my light screen. Oh, he must have had light clay. He does he does like those screens a lot. I saw he had a Curum set. Standard Kyurem uh, with a reflect and light screen set. So perhaps that could have been crucial after all. He decides to bring in the Caesar. Um, I'm guessing it's just to die. 
I'm guessing this is his sack of choice because I don't know. I mean, we can see if it has speed investment. Um, it's gonna have it's gonna need a lot for Mega Blast Toys to be slower, but um, we'll see. It's it's nice to get this out of the way because that means hazards are forever on the field, which is cool. But uh, yeah, guess we'll find out. It's definitely looking good. It's looking good. I'm not counting anything out yet, though, by any means. Not gonna let that happen, no sir. But uh. From here, it's just kind of interesting when he has the choice to go to Ninetales, and I don't have the fairest of switch-ins, actually. Um, I mean, I can press Draco, and chances are I'll be okay, but um, yeah, yeah, I mean, I could do that, and I probably will, um, but while we're waiting, at least, um, we know he doesn't have Life Orb because he has Foul Play. Um, I think. I think that's how it works. Does Foul Play still get a boost from Life Orb? I don't know. Um, but let's take Ninetales once again. Um, let's just assume it's offensive because we want to give benefit of the doubt. Um, and I have a really weird set, but also I'm using level 100 uh, using level 100 calcs here, but hopefully they're not too different that um, I should actually be worried. Um, let's just put modest here because number one, it's my nature, and number two, I don't want to have... Oh, okay, so he does decide to go for the bullet punch, get off a little bit of damage. Um, really was the best thing he could do there, so... Um, he didn't have leftovers, so I don't know what his set was. Probably was not Assault Vest, judging by how somewhat poorly the Caesar took it. But, um, Fire Blast, let's see, I need to put in my HP investment here. Um, also he brings in Bian Chao, so I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna immediately go to, um, go to my Sableye. But first I want to see how well Kiram takes the hit. So we have 124 EVs. If it's if it's a uh, timid, if it's max attack, fire blast in the sun, it does 50 to 60, 50 to 60. However, if it's not that, it's not going to do a KO. So that's worth being interested in we don't so we can tell whether it's offensive soon enough um i don't know that'll be interesting maybe i should just go into talent flame the more i think about it but um here definitely want to bring in sableye i think i i don't know what this thing could possibly do back to me yeah it's just gonna u-turn um and it definitely is scarf not gonna think of that damage as anything else um also worth mentioning that I mean if I he has uh, he has a good reason to go to either nine tails or um, guard of war however if his nine tails packs any kind of punch it would be good for him to bring that in now and then um, that puts me in a really good position to just press Draco uh, because I mean if he brings in guard of war I just immediately go back to Klefki and we have a good time simple as that yeah so there it is there's the nine tails um, so here's my options I can go to Talonflame attempt to take a hit um, I mean if he's offensive fire blast gonna hurt a lot um, at the same time, you've got to think that if I lose Sableye, I am not in a good position to handle his Mian Xiao or his Aerodactyl. So, I mean, as long as I have Talonflame, I should not have a worry against Mian Xiao. However, them combined could be bad because if he just brings in Aerodactyl on a Brave Bird, it's going to take it. And that's no good for me. 
So I think I'm gonna bring in Talonflame after all and just spam the Brave Bird button. That may be the best thing in this case. Um, we'll see what he decides to do. He goes for the flamethrower. Um, so number one, he has flamethrower, not fire blast. Um, I have some HP EVs on my Talon Flame. I want to see where th what range this puts Talon Flame in. Okay, I have 124. Apparently, that's the magic number of this week. Um, 124. Flamethrower does 25 to 30 if he is no investment. And it did 38. So that thing definitely has Spitak. Um, yeah, and that was a higher roll if he was Timid Max Spitak. So he's probably offensive. He's probably offensive, which is good to know. Um, if I left in Sableye, I'm just interested in knowing. Um, didn't have any of that and I was bold. Flamethrower would not have killed, but obviously would not put me in a good situation. So yeah, let's just press the Brave Bird button here. Um, yeah, like I was saying, he can just bring in his Aerodactyl pretty much for free in a lot of these cases. Oh, this is actually not good at all. <laughs> it's actually not good at all. <laughs> Because um, cause he has Pursuit, and that's a good move against me. But again, as long as I have Sableye, I should be fine. He says that before he dies forever. Um, I imagine Pursuit kills me from this range, but I guess we'll see, huh? You, you all-out attacker, give it Pursuit. And multiply it by two. Oh, it's the Oh, maybe the flamethrower damage was wrong because like that's mega. Okay, I'm just messing up everything right now. I need to see talent flame. <laughs> Let me see the talent flame. 124. It can do up to if he's jolly, it could do up to 56. If he's adamant. It can do up to 60. I think I'm just going to press the Brave Bird button. I don't have much more need for this thing at this point. Um, I mean, I say that when this thing could actually kill the rest of his team, but I just, I can't. I can't risk that. Um, he decides to Earthquake. This man is real. <laughs> wow, that was a really crucial play, actually. Um, that's interesting. You must have what? So he's pursued an earthquake. I'm befuddled. Now this puts me in a really interesting position. Like, definitely gives me some options. Brave Bird won't kill at this point. However, if he lets me keep this, I can't imagine him letting me keep this. However, he doesn't seem to have moves that hurt me. Or maybe he was expecting me to roost taking his stone edge, but like, I wouldn't. No good, no strong offensive mega aerodactyl would not kill a Talon Flame even when it's roosting. I think that's the ultimate 50-50 play of all time. Unless he only has those two moves. If that is true, he may just have roost. Does he have roost? Certainly an option, huh? I mean, if I Brave Bird again and he goes down to 10, he gets a free roost, and then we get into an interesting set here. But then, also, we don't know what his fourth move would be in that case. Do we want a Willow? Because at this point, the damage he's at would not is... It's not a big deal. 
Let's try it. He has Thunder Fang. Okay. Okay. Um. Fine. That's fine. Um, he has Thunder, Earthquake, and Pursuit. We don't know if he has Stone Edge yet. But these moves do not hurt Sableye. Um, next time his Ninetales comes in, it's going to be at low. It's going to be a pretty darn low. That's, that's all that is. Not that I really have to, but I almost want to double from Sableye to cure him. Because... Huh. I've got to keep Klefki because I do not want Gardevoir having any chance of winning. That, I just cannot let that happen. I'm thinking Sableye. He knows I've got that priority, Willow. And he knows that I can't do anything to his nine tails. I need this. I need this Sableye. Is he gonna let me do it? <laughs> Is he gonna let me double? Is he going to stay in? I don't know how I could possibly risk a Willow. He doesn't know I have Willow. I mean, it's so evident, though, obviously. We need to go back. We need to go back to the drawing board here. I'm not making, like, terrible plays. It's just... I want to be safe about this. Like, at the end of the day, win is better than any differential. Um, we know he's offensive. We want that flamethrower. We got that Curum. We got 124. Modest. Flamethrower does not 2 it KO. So Flamethrower doesn't 2 it KO, but like, that doesn't matter. I want to risk it for the biscuit. I just don't think he'd stone edge here when I have Willow. You couldn't possibly risk Willow, could you? Just kidding! Uh. Now we're in a situation, huh? <laughs> we still have Klefki. We can still do this. We can still do this. Stay calm. Stay calm, cheese. He let it happen. He really stone etched. I don't know if he predicted that. Either way, Thunderfang's gonna hurt. I'm not gonna like it. But he dies. At the end of the day, perhaps I should have just brought this in because that's a free scald. But beggars can't be choosers, I suppose. This is really not good for me. I think I'm gonna. St I'm. Think it's over for me at this point. I mean, not necessarily, but. <laughs> What's he gonna go for here? He has foul play and flamethrower. He really stone edged. If 
Alplane flamethrower. He hasn't revealed other things. I think I have to go to Sableye. Trick off that lagging tail. Kind of just go from there. Maybe hope to flinch. Um, hmm. Wow. So of course he has energy ball. Trick off that lagging tail. See what we can do. going to be really close. It's going to depend on some factors. I might want to cancel my move <laughs> before I make any crazy decisions. Oh yeah, flamethrower will kill me for days. So let's keep that trick on. Blast toys. We're in the sun, but it's not going to kill because, yeah, um, we have no investment. We're just going to say we're timid for the sake of this. All comes down to this, I think. I mean, not actually, because he can just bring in Mianxiao, I think. Meh. Kind of. Meh. <laughs> I don't know. It's... I'm indifferent about it. I took a risk. Um... Because of that, I have no free will to just press Specs Earth Power right now. When I otherwise had a chance to. Yeah, so. Oh no. Chances are it's over for me. Um. Because chances are he's also reckless. Um. Reckless Mian Xiao. To a clef key. Um, yeah, that does too much to too much. And he kills me off with that. So that sucks. Um, does foul play kill? <laughs> Please tell me foul play kills. How disappointing, but um, that is not the mon I was thinking of here. Nine tails. Should kill. Um, let me get that lefty's recovery. <laughs> yeah, so he's got that. We press the T-Wave button and we pray. <laughs> Press the T-Wave button, and we pray. Please. No! 
that's it. GG. Good game. Good game. Unfortunate, but it's all right. Um, so standings wise, that's going to put us at four and three. Um, give us a two differential. <sighs> yeah, a couple things I just did wrong there. Um, I mean, sacking Kiram was a mess because it just gave me all the opportunity in the world to start hitting things really hard. I mean, it was this max HP, or well, not max HP, but a lot of HP bulky monster, and I just let it go down for free. Um, granted, he also let one of his biggest threats, IMO, just go for Stone Edge and risk getting burned, which um, in that combination would not have done a lot to Sableye, and then I could have just recovered that off. And then his Nine Tails could come in, but I mean, his Nine Tails was such an easy switch in to Sableye, and that's why I thought, hey, you know, there's like no going wrong here with that play, but um, instead we did a little bit of that differential play. Um, obviously, didn't work out for us, and yeah. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully we'll come back next week, but thanks for watching. Like, comment, sub until later. Peace.